Today on Sweet Talk Live, we're doing some experimenting with Oreos and cream cheese. So you may have been expecting more Christmas videos from me, and I was expecting to give them to you until my lips swelled up and I had to get a cortisone shot. <laughs> so now I'm just looking tired, but good enough to talk to you on camera. So today we're doing some experimenting. I know everyone out there loves these cream cheese Oreo balls that are similar to cake balls, which I've made in the past. So I've never made them, but I'm making them today, experimenting with them with a little bit of Andy's Candies baking pieces, and then some pretzel crisps later. The first step is to take six ounces of softened cream cheese and four cups of Oreos and put them in your mixer, or if your mixer's far, far away, then put them in your food processor. A food processor is actually probably a good tool for this because all you're doing is mixing them together and you can actually use this like a mixer. It's just a little bit of a different machine. So I have three sleeves of Oreos in there, which is about one package, but my sister bought a ginormous box from Costco, I think, so I have sleeves. And six ounces of cream cheese. Now here's where part one of my experiment comes in. Andy's candy baking pizza. So I thought it was going to use these for something else. I didn't, and I felt bad because I bought them, so I need to use them. And I think mint Oreos sound like a really festive, delicious idea. So I'm just going to pour a bunch of them in. I'm not measuring. They're not going in the oven, so not measuring is kind of okay. Okay, so once you have your add-ins added in, you can just start your mixer or your food processor one more time. And once your ingredients are, for lack of better terms, pulverized into this, we're going to scoop them out. I use a cookie scoop because I use a cookie scoop to do everything because it makes life a lot easier. So I'm just going to scoop them out onto a piece of wax paper, which I have on a baking sheet, and then they're going to go in the freezer for 10 minutes. And that helps for when we're covering them in chocolate and we don't want them to melt or fall apart. So while your Oreo cream cheese balls are freezing, you have two more things to do. Get 12 ounces of chocolate and get it ready to melt, however you do that, whether it's in the microwave or on the stove, your favorite way. And also, I'm going to dip them in something. I'm going to dip them in these pretzel crisp holiday mint chocolate things, which I'm going to chop up and dip them in. So if you want to dip them in something, get that ready too, so that everything's ready when the 10 minutes is up. So to make these little crumbles, all I'm doing is putting them in my mini chopper. You could use your food processor, you could do it however you chop stuff, you know, with the thing that goes use that too. And also, I'm putting sea salt in the mix because I really like salty chocolate things. And since we're already using pretzel crisps, I figure adding a little bit of sea salt would just make them three, four, five times as delicious as they would be anyway. So just shake that in. Um, there's a lot in there, so you can put a lot of salt in. It'll be okay. And we're putting them on top, not inside, so it will not ruin the flavor of your baking dish. Okay, it's assembly line time, and I promise I won't make you watch me do them all, but you do need to know how to do that. So take the frozen Oreo guys, and you just dip them in your big bowl of chocolate. This is messy, so be aware. <laughs> so you take it, and you want to make sure you get it all on there, but that they don't melt. Hence the temperature problem. So make sure there's chocolate everywhere, and then it's kind of going to be like making fried chicken. <laughs> so you're just going to dip it in the chocolate and then in your topping and just roll it around in there coat it like the chicken and uh... looks pretty good to me I think that sounds pretty delicious I'm gonna stick with this guy first I have a white pretzel crisp that I dunked also so I'm gonna have white ones and chocolate ones there should be tools for this other than my fingers, but I mean, haven't you ever watched I Love Lucy? She uses her fingers. Not that she's very successful, but she does it. So like I said, you just roll it in chocolate and then roll it in topping. The great things about these is that I invented them. So, well, I didn't invent the dessert, but I invented the rolling part, so I say they look good. So we roll them in the chocolate ones. I'm just going to dip them in the white ones because I'm running out of stuff. So same idea here. You're going to get the Oreo balls all glossed and chocolatey. But this time, we're not just going to dredge it. We are just going to dip the bottom. So you have to make sure the chocolate actually looks nice, which is the hard part. And then once you got your little guy, just dip the bottom in. 
and pull him out. And he looks like, you know, I don't know, he looks pretty cute to me. Okay, so I finished everything. Recipe analysis. Ridiculously adorable. See, these are the white chocolate ones. And then the ones covered over here are the chocolate chocolate ones. And they all smell pretty good and minty and Christmassy. The only thing I would say would be melt more than 12 ounces of chocolate because I was really using up that chocolate. Like, I would have helped if I had a couple more ounces. But other than that, try these and let me know what you dip them in and how it goes. Thanks for watching Sweet Talk Live. Merry Christmas, and I hope to see what you're baking soon.